Hello. How y'all doing? I'm about to get it in. I'm about to show y'all these photo pennants. Memorial photo pennants. This is what we're attempting to put together today, y'all. These pennants. The photos of them. I'll do this in Cricut Design Space. And what we do, is first you upload the picture that you want onto. I've preloaded already. I'm gonna do my uncle and me and my granny. Make my both of my grandmas cry tomorrow. <laughs> so no. Kind of mean, but I love my mama and my grandma. Now, first step is we have to size it. I measured it at one and a quarter, so I'm gonna do 1.1. One .1. And we're gonna see how that works. I think we'd be cool if we did one point. Little bleed. You have to measure your pendants to get the exact size, but I'm thinking one on one. But first, I'm I'm, I'm skipping it. Let's go back, y'all. Let's go back. I want it to be a pretty decent size so I can see what I'm doing. So let's go back. Okay. Now this is how we do that. Let's, I'm gonna knock this one down though. To like five. This is how we gonna do this. Put this one at five too. Just so we can see what's going on. And then what I do is go over here to shapes. Shapes, go circle. And then I try to size the circle up just to f so the face is covered. All right. Much of the face as possible is covered. You can even lock it, unlock it, so you can move it around and try to get all the much as possible into the picture, right? I think that's should do it. And what I do is after that, I select all, go over here to slice, and you slice it. Once you slice it, you can move this out the way, and we can get rid of it. And we also can move this out the way because we're going to use that for the pendant. Get rid of the trash. I'll call this the trash. We don't need none of that no more. And now we're going to go to the second one. Shape. Circle. Yeah. I want to make this bigger just so I can see my granny face more. But we go here. Try not to cut too much of it off. my granny. I miss my uncle too. And then we push move this out the way. Select all again. Go over here to slice. Remove that. Get rid of it. Remove this. Get rid of this. And then we size these up. Right? 
what we say, 1.1. 1 .1. Let's do 1.1. 1 .1. On both sides, 1.1. One .1. We can do this one, same thing. 1.1. One .1. Right? Now we got sizes, right? We go over here to make. Some you mirror, this one you mirror, some you don't mirror, but these ones you mirror. So we're gonna mirror it, then I'm gonna continue, send it to the printer. I'm using my Epson Workforce 7720, just because of the paper size is already set and I don't feel like changing my big printer and wasting all that paper. I don't like about this is the amount of paper that you waste. It's crazy. Because this is the sheet. Little bitty sheet. Now, I'm going to send it to my printer. Off camera, and what I'm doing, I'm just. Uh -oh, let's do this first so we can see exactly where. Okay, we sent it to the printer, right? And then this is I have to connect to I'm gonna move this over. I'm setting up my Cricut or whatever rhino cutter that you guys have you can use. Take this. Okay. And my Oko. Okay. I just made sure these the the two whistle nails I'm using. The blanks that I'll be sublimating and Right. So put it on your mat. Once you get it on the mat, I gotta get some new mats because of course mines are linty. So I secure it with a little piece of tape just to make sure it don't move on me. I know glitter will cut. Excuse y'all. That was me. <laughs> and then we're going to cut it. reading the registration lines so I know it's really good.
take it off very carefully. So you're going to be printing again. Give me a second, y'all. One day I'm gonna give me a, a pro, a little pro or some shit. But for now, we're doing what we're doing. This is what the spatula is for. And again, I'm doing this, y'all, for the first time, right in front of y'all. Right in front of y'all. Bam. You all set. Ooh. Oh, it is recording. I thought we weren't recording. I was about to be, <laughs> I'm about to be mad. All right, I'm about to set my press up to sublimate 385, and I'll be back shortly. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> we back, bro. Look, so I set the parchment paper up, right? Parchment paper is down take my platen and then I put the inserts down I put the inserts facing upside down metal part up then I take a piece of tape just so it don't move tape it y'all ain't got a dispenser man y'all waste the energy get y'all the dispenser tape dispenser okay we have we are preheated I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get one more piece of butcher paper to protect the upside. Just to make sure we don't mess up our platform. All right? Then I'm gonna press it for 30 seconds. I really don't know what time to push in it, but. I'm guessing 30 seconds to do it, half. It's some little stuff. So y'all seeing this just as me. I was told this though. Don't touch that shit with your bare hands. Let that shit cool off. Cause you will burn the fingerprints off your hand. Might have worked. Let's see. I'm putting gloves on. Because I don't want to burn my fingers. <laughs> but yeah, I was told to let that cool off first. Because it's hot. 400 degrees hot. Gloves will help, definitely. Wow. Y'all, that's all I'm going to say is wow. All I'm going to say is wow. That turned out. Even with the gloves on, I can feel the heat coming off these boys, though. I can feel the heat coming 
off these boys though. Wow. They gonna flip up when they see this. Wow. That turned out amazing, y'all. Let's see if I can let y'all see it. You can still feel the heat off these boys though. Let's see if y'all can see. Yeah, see how pretty they came out. My granny. That came out pretty dope. And then me and my uncle. Joe Hawkey. Oh. Me and my uncle. It's pretty dope, y'all. Pretty dope, y'all. Pretty dope, y'all. Nah. They came with these little stickers. We came with these little stickers. Hold on. Let's put one together. Let's put one together. Sticky side. I guess you could put the sticky side down first, maybe. I'm thinking you put this part down first. And then you take the other part off. I'm guessing. I'm hoping I get it right. Let me get my Zacto right. Try to see if I can pull this other piece of whatever off. So I took my Exacto knife and, and got in between the plus. Now it's a clear coating on there. And then take my chain and I place that in the chain. Press down. I was told you could put glue on there, but we gonna rock it like that. We are going to rock it like that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Uh, look at that. This is the bling bling. Me and my uncle. Wow. It's pretty hard, y'all. Uh. That's pretty hard. Let's do that one. Let's do my granny. I'm going to go to my granny house tomorrow and give it out to one of me and my uncle. And then I'm going to give this one to my mom. Pretty sure all my aunties is going to want one now when they see it. Careful. These act on nice, they sharp. Take a picture of my granny. This is amazing, y'all. This is amazing. This is amazing, y'all. My granny. <laughs> so that's how you do a Mario Pennis, y'all. On the cricket program at that. The cricket program at that.
Be the cool. So enough. Turned out pretty dope though. So I think pretty dope. I think pretty dope. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope you learned something. Like the video. Push like. Subscribe. Share. www.drfeelgoodarttherapy.com Feel good on Facebook. Dr. Feel Good Art Therapy on Instagram. Dr. Feel Good Art Therapy on what's the name of that new shit? Look at my ass. What's the name of the new stuff I just got? TikTok. I just got a TikTok. Dr. Feel Good Art Therapy. Y'all go check me out. Appreciate y'all watching me. Feel good about yourself. 100.